JPX222. Hey, Faded, the other day me and my girlfriend decided to take it to the next level and have sex. Only one problem. We, start, we started to take off our clothes and she looked hot. Her body was completely shaved, including her vagina. My body, however, was not shaved at all. And I had hair everywhere. When she saw this, she looked disgusted and told me that until I at least shave my cock, she wouldn't have sex with me. Should I do this or should I force her to make love with my hairy under regions? Guy, listen, use common sense. Nowadays, practice proper fucking hygiene. Some girls, it all depends on the girl. Some girls like a man with a hairy chest. Some girls like a guy with a nice smooth chest. See, I got a nice smooth chest. You see that? Girls love that shit. Look at that. And I've been working out. Look at that six pack almost growing. But girls like that shit. Now, as far as uh, her telling you to shave your cock, dude, if you have such a hairy cock and all that shit, it's summer right now, dude. It's hot. You're going to have, of course, you have musty balls and a, a musty cock. You think a girl's going to want to uh, give you oral sex or have sex with you with that uh, awful smell uh, emitting from your uh, under regions? No. Um, dude, it doesn't take that no more than probably like five minutes, five minutes to get in the shower you know, get a razor, get some shaving cream, and just, you know, shave the hair off your balls. You know, keep it nice and clean, nice and trim out uh, down there. That way, the next time you're with your girlfriend, she would not she would not mind, you know, uh, performing oral sex on you, you know? Putting your cock in her mouth. Um, yeah, dude, just keep it clean, keep it trim, you know what I'm saying? You know, girls, as far as body hair, like I said, chest-wise, it depends on the girl. But as far as, like, um... Pubic hairs, dude, I mean, think about it. You don't want your girl having fucking pubic hairs uh, stuck between her fucking teeth the next time she's uh, performing oral sex on you or something, you know? Keep it clean, and the next time you guys make love, hey, baby, I shaved. Was good. It's that simple. All right? So I hope that works out well for you. Stampa. Marvel, Marvel or DC? I like Marvel better because they have much better characters. You know, Spider-Man, Iron Man, um... Great villains, Venom, Carnage, uh, Marvel. It's just their heroes uh, make a little bit more sense than DC's. You know, Blue Beetle and shit. You know, I don't like the Blue Beetle. What kind of power does the Blue Beetle have anyway? I do like Batman, of course, Superman, the Green Lantern, Flash, running. Psh, the Flash, man, he can. That guy is really super fucking fast. I've seen Justice League episode with Eric Zuniga 69 and the Flash, oof, I mean those Justice League, Justice League episodes, one fast ass motherfucker. So Marvel, way better, better villains too. Captain America, stop. I'm Captain America, evil villain. Just think about Captain America's American pride, that American superhero. Love it. Um, Apollo Myth asking me, Ask me, Apollo Myth. Yeah, I said it right. I was watching some of your Mr. Advice videos and I've been wanting to ask you this question. When you read through some of these questions, do you ever take into consideration to the idea that some of these people aren't giving you fake stories? If so, why do you still answer them if they are obviously fake? Dude, you never know. We live in a sick world, especially here in America. There are a lot of people that have twisted thoughts, twisted fantasies, twisted ideas. So I take every question very very seriously here on Mr. Advice because here on Mr. Advice I'm here to make sure that the, everybody, at least everybody, gets their questions answered. Now I understand there, there may be some stupid off the wall dumb shit like um, I, I made love to an alien that visited me and I rubbed uh, my cock over the alien mother's forehead and now I got kidnapped to another planet. You know stuff like that, common sense uh, will tell me that that's a fake question but as far as these questions that I get like I said here on Mr. Advice you never know alright <clears throat> let's move on fuck the world to 11 hey faded I smoke a whole gang of bud every day and there's no day where I'm not high and I've been smoking since I was 13 now I'm 16 but when I get high now I, I really don't feel as high as back then I really don't feel as high as back then. I'm thinking about just trying some other drug, just to see how it feels. What's your advice to me, man? Is it really that bad to try another drug one time? They say that marijuana is the gateway to other drugs, depending on the person. 
Don't try other drugs, dude. I mean, what are you gonna try? What's next on the list? Cocaine? Crystal meth? Crack? Shrooms? Ecstasy? All that shit's gonna fucking kill you. You're gonna become a fucking crack addict. You're gonna put holes in your brain about this fucking big with ecstasy. Just stick with weed, bro. I wouldn't recommend you smoke so much weed. It, it just sounds like your uh, tolerance level for weed has gone up. You know, your body just is used to it after, you know, smoking it for so many years, a couple years almost every day. Wow, dude. Just stick with weed for now. I'm saying I can't tell you to quit because I don't think you're going to quit, you know? I mean, it seems like now your body's kind of addicted to it. But don't smoke it too much, all right? And don't try other drugs, dude. You just don't want to fuck yourself up, all right? Carlos925 asked me, Hey, Faded, I'm going to high school. In the last three years, I have acted like a retard. Now I have grown out of that. But I do have game. It's just that I'm afraid of rejection. I'm serious. Around girls. But my stupid-ass friends always make me look like a dumbass. Should I just ask girl out like fuck it? Or should I become friends with a girl and ask her out that way? Number one, if you're going to go hang out with a girl, ask girl or ask girl out, guys. Please do not bring your obnoxious, stupid ass, annoying friends around, okay? If you want to talk to a girl, if you want to talk to her intimately, privately, whatever, make sure it's just you and the girl, okay? Because if you try to talk to a girl with your friends, with like three or four of your friends with you, guarantee you one of them is going to make a stupid ass, obnoxious statement that proves that he's trying to fucking show off, okay? Or number two, he's, um... Your friends are just gonna fucking just say stupid shit, you know? Number one, number two, same fucking thing. You know, I've had experiences like this. That's why now when I talk to girls, when I kick to girls, I do it one-on-one. -on -one, privately and personally. Never failed me yet. Um, dude, just ask a girl out. Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? You tell her, yo, I want to get to know you. What's good, you know what I'm saying? You want to go out. If you say you got game, I don't even got to tell you how to talk to a girl. Like you said, you got game, so hand do your thing. You know, just just don't do it with the groups of guys, you know? Because, like I said, you're going to have one of some obnoxious fuck trying to show off. Alright? And that's the truth. You know that. That should be a tip to every guys. Especially all you guys like to walk around in groups of people trying to holler at a girl across the street. Like, yo, mommy, what's good, mommy? Let me holler at you for a second. Then you wonder why that girl walks off and rejects you. You're scaring her off with, with, with your five, six other buddies that, uh are screaming across the street like you. You know what I'm saying? You're scaring the chick off. Use common fucking sense. You're scaring the girl off. She's very shy. Girl, women seem to be more shy than guys. All right? Come on, guys. I don't even have to tell you this. This should all be fucking common sense. Okay, J Creed 89 You asked me two questions, but I'm going to only answer a one for now. I'm a senior in high school, and I'm graduating next year, and my future plan is to go to college out of state. Then I was hoping on dating in college if I do get a boyfriend. If I do get a boyfriend, I made it clear that I don't want any kids. I just want to have a nice home, a job, and a boyfriend I can spend my life with. Because I'm not good with kids. But I'm concerned if the boyfriend I'm with wanted kids, but I don't want, then he most likely don't want to be with me because he wants a family. And like I said, I'm not good with kids. So what do you think I should do? Okay, number one, first and foremost, always take care of yourself. Handle your college, do what you gotta do in college, get your part-time job on the side when you go to college or whatever. And when you find a good boyfriend, and if you and if, and if his dumbass wants to have kids at a young age, you tell him straight straight up, listen, wait till I finish college, wait till I get my things organized, my things in check, and then we could talk about having a family. But that's if you and the guy um, are in love with each other and shit like that. You know, that's something you discuss when you're like, two years dating and you're in love and all that sh fucking nonsense um a guy should be able to respect your decision alright number two if you are gonna have sex with uh, in college or whatever which I'm pretty sure you will going to college parties and dorm parties and all these stupid ass fraternities with the fucking stupid ass jocks condom 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 make sure the guy uses, uses a condom but take care of yourself first like I said if you don't want to have kids now that's normal don't freak out alright you're, you're still a teenager even when you go to college, you're still going to be a teenager. 18, 19. I right, so take it easy, chill. Finish up your college. Finish up your studies. Go for your career goal. 
and then you could talk about kids later with your husband, future husband, if you do decide to have kid, uh, kids. I know you say you don't like kids, you're not good with kids, but it's just your mother instinct will kick in once you have a kid. Alright people, that's it for Mr. Advice, send me your questions, alright, peace.